a stamp image and cut it out using your Cricut and your Sure Cuts a Lot program. So here we go, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to stamp your image like I have here. Um, this is the violet from Paper Tray Ink. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to scan it. So I'm going to go ahead and take it and I'm going to put it into my scanner. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and scan it. Hopefully you guys can see this. Pretty light. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and save it. And scan it. It's going to take a minute. Okay, now we need to save it, and we're going to open up that, we're going to take that image and we're going to open it up in a photo editing program. Um, I use uh, Photoshop CS2, but you can use any photo imaging program. Okay, now we're going to go find that image, and we're going to crop it. Now we're going to fill it in. What we did is we took the brush tool and we're just filling it in so that it's solid. Okay. Now we're going to resave it, crop it, resave it. All right, now we're ready to go to the next step. Okay, now we're ready to um, cut it out using our scowl. I've got scowl open here and um, the Cricut. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the trace feature. Click on that. We're going to browse for that image that we saved. And here it is. So we're going to double click it. You can preview it if you want. You don't have to. Hit OK, and now as you can see, we've got it on the mat. Now, you can also see that it is way too big. So what you want to do is you want to measure your stamp. The stamp was measuring about um, one and three quarters by one and three quarters, but I want enough um, when I cut it out, so that enough of a border when I cut it out, so that I have a little bit of white left and I have enough room to stamp. So I'm going to change it over here, and I'm going to change it to 1.95. And I'm going to do the same thing over here for the height, 1.95, and then I'm going to click Keep Proportions, just like that, and there you go. You can see, now we have it all scaled down. Now all we need to do is cut it. Um, I am going to move it. Well, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. Okay, here we go. We're going to click on the scissors, and we're going to hit OK. Oh, hang on. Got it. Got to load it into the Cricut first. Okay, first we got to load it in the Cricut. Put your paper on the mat. Make sure you got it on there real good so it sticks. Okay, now go ahead and press load paper. Okay, now let's go back. Hit our scissors. And we're going to press OK. And it's going to cut it out. Cricut's going to cut it out for us. Press OK, unload paper, and go ahead and pull it off the mat. And as you can see, we now have a perfectly cut out um, image of the stamp. So then the last thing you want to do is you want to take the stamp and you want to ink it up real good. And then you want to go ahead and line it up. Line up the stamp with the cutout image. This part can be a little tricky, but kind of think of it as a puzzle. You can see it's pretty much lined up. And just go ahead and stamp it. And there you have it. A perfectly good cutout um, image of the stamp. 
and you don't need to use scissors it's all done for you um, this is a great way to um, use your Cricut and your shortcuts a lot um, with all your stamps um, it'll save you lots of room for storing dies and things like that so if you have um, a die cutter or an electronic cutting machine and a program like sure cuts a lot is a great thing to do with it um, I hope this explains how it's done if you have any questions feel free to email me and I hope you have learned how to do it thanks for stopping by